Hi, I'm Mike with HydroHealth. I'm gonna walk you through a basic maintenance check on our automated San Ann Bio system. This automated system is made up of the hydroponic system itself, which is from San Ann Bio. A 55 gallon drum of fresh water to keep the reservoir topped off. And down below here is the cart that holds the reservoir, all the controllers, pumps, and nutrients. The first thing we will do is visually inspect the health of the plants to see right away if there are any problems. Check for any signs of yellowing, tip burn, or abnormal growth. Next, lift up the grow rafts and take a look at the health of the roots and check for algae growth. Also pay attention to any smells that might be abnormal. Lift up each one of these side panels and check the inlet and drain for each level. Check the filter for clogs on the bottom level near the drain. Now you check the health of the plants, let's check the 55 gallon drum. If you are here to harvest the system, you can expect the drum to be somewhat empty. On an in-between maintenance visit, check to make sure there's enough water in it to last until harvest. If you think it'll run out, use the hose or a five gallon bucket to top it off. Also check that the air stone is working properly and there are no leaks from the fittings. Now you can roll out the reservoir partially and check the water level. The water level should be set to about the 15 gallon mark on the reservoir. On the front here is where the two controllers and the power strip with the timer are mounted. Check that the timer is operating and not in the manual on position. Now take a look at the controllers and see if the pH and EC are in range. Depending on what plants are in the system, if you need to increase the EC, this is where you would increase the set point. Same thing with the pH. This is where you would increase or decrease the set point. It is also a good idea to periodically take a pH and EC reading with a different calibrated meter and compare to the readings on the system. Now we clean and calibrate the sensors. First, get together the toothbrush, some clean water, the buffer solutions, and the small beaker. You remove the sensor out of the sample pot and take a look at it. The pH probe should be shiny without anything on it. Gently brush the probe to clean it and rinse with some clean water. Now place it in your clean and dry small beaker and pour some pH 7 buffer solution. Enough to cover the end of the sensor. Wait a few minutes and take a look at the reading. It should be within a tenth of pH 7.0. If not, navigate to the pH 7 calibration screen and hold down the edit button and use the up and down arrows to adjust it to 7. Rinse off the probe and beaker and do the same thing with the pH 4 buffer solution. The instructions say to make sure you do the pH 7 calibration first to make sure the probe works properly. Then re return it to the sample pot. Now clean the EC probe with the toothbrush and rinse with clean water. Now use the small beaker and the EC buffer solution to take a reading. The reading should be within a tenth of 2.8. To adjust it, go to the calibration screen and hold down the edit button and use the up and down arrows to adjust it to 2.8. Then return it to the sample pot. Right underneath the sample pot here are the peristaltic pumps for the nutrients and the pH down. Check the volume of the nutrients and pH down and refill if necessary. I'm Mike from HydroHealth. Thanks for watching.